Hello there, you're probably wanting the code. So I'm gonna do my little intro, a little intro thing, and, th and then I'll give you the code. Did you know that only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed, less than 10%. We've gone up, but not up enough. I think, I think we could do better. I think we can get to like 20% sometime. Maybe not now, but sometime we could do it. Thank you for all the recent support in my videos. Um, I realized like I'm getting hundreds of views now on my videos, which is something I have never, ever seen before. Um, and I got it more than once, so it's not like a one-time thing. So that is very epic, very cool. Anyways, thank you for, uh, thank you for subscribing. Da, da, da. Thank you for subscribing. Now let's continue with the video. Okay, so there's a new code in Build a Boat for Treasure. You probably want to know it, but first, you have to know the context. So this code was brought into the game because there was a choice. And what was that? What was that choice? Watto, what was that choice? Chill Thrill asked, Hello everyone. We have decided to put this week's stage on pause in order to spend time working on the upcoming October and November updates. But rather than leaving you all with nothing this week, we wanted to either present a new code or a leak to the new next update. Please vote one or two for the new, uh, new code or two for the leak. And 1,600 people wanted the new code instead of the leak. Um, that was a three to one ratio. And then we have, hello again, it seems the one, first one, the ones have won the, the one vote. I, that means a new code, use code voted code for the free blocks of treasure. What are those blocks, Wado? Tell me. Well, if we go into build a boat for treasure, we can go and check into the codes place and then we go voted, no, not voted, code, code, not code. What? Why does it do that? Is it just like trying to be French? I don't know. Voted code. We get five balloons. We get five cakes. We get 15 neon blocks. Three trees. And that's it. That's actually a pretty rare um, group of ones. So, uh, I'll say, yeah, that's a pretty good one. That's, that's something, you, that's a code you don't want to miss because it is pretty, pretty good. So, each time I make one of these videos, I usually, um, I, I review a boat. But you know, I was going to be, I wanted to review my own boat this time. So, it's not finished. I stopped actually making it a long while ago. Um, I think before the scale tool even came out. Yeah, this is before the scale tool. Um, so I'll meet you back here when it's fully loaded. Okay, so I asked if who wanted a shout out, and so Pookie for Life said, Below me wants a shout out, so S. Dolofo, who can help me make money for a farm? You get the shout out, I guess. I don't know. Spooky for Life just, uh, Gave you the shout out. I, I hope you enjoy it. <laughs> okay, so it's done loading, and I'm gonna take you from the entrance. Um, I know it's a very bright. Um, so this was made before the scaling, the good scaling came out. So it's pretty, pretty weird looking. It's very bright because it's before dy dynamic lighting too. So uh, this boat is for me to use every single block in the game. I didn't do that. Well, every single block in the game was used, but I didn't use all my blocks. That was the goal. So, it's very bright, <laughs> as a warning. So, we come in here. This is one of the entrances. The other entrance is over there. Um, so, you come in here, and here is the main area. Um, you can see, like, a little thing right here. This is supposed to be the digits of how much I used. Um, I'm still extremely bright, even this far away. Um... We go into one of these rooms and you'll see that it's just a conference room and it gets very dark. Um, I don't know what led me to make this decision to make this room extremely dark and the other rooms bright. But you know, it's this way, so it's it's a little business room. I guess it's cool. It's not that good. We have a repeat of it over on this side. Um, I should have chose like a blue light for this. Because that'd look nicer. But hey, I guess... Guess not. Um, here's the engine room. Uh, this was before dynamic scaling, remember? So I had to make everything look weirder. Um, this room was very blue, and I liked it. Oh, this is like a very good color. Um, so I, I like this room. It's my favorite one. 
It's not too bright. It's not too bright. <laughs> um, we're going to go through the first floor. So over here, we can see there's stuff under the... Oh, wow, it's super bright. Um, stuff under here, like TNT chests and stuff. We open these two doors. I know door is crazy. And then we get into the firing room. This room has all the stuff to fire. Also, all these are um, little candles. All these stuff fires, so when you want to, you just shoot them out of the ship. The other side has that too, but I won't show that off because it takes time. Through this room, we have just a seating room that's not too bright. And through this room, we have like a little nature room, um, which is also very nice. This is before the grass box came out and then I added it in. So it looks cool, I guess. A lot of stuff is like glitching around and stuff. So it's not, it's not the best, but it's not the worst. It's not the worst. Um, and around this corner, we have the main dining hall. I wanted to use a lot of doors because they had like 100, so I just stacked like 80 of them there. That looks nice, I guess. <laughs> then we have the main seating area. Well, main like viewing for seating. This is the main seating area with the two king, uh, king's things and all the other stuff around here. It looks pretty nice. This room's pretty nice. Um, and then there's an upstairs. The upstairs isn't finished whatsoever because it's not that good. But this is the upstairs. It looks pretty weird. And it is weird. I had to use a lot of blocks, so I put stuff right there. Um, and this is just a random seating area. I get. I don't know why I made this again. This is all just so I can use more. Um, so it's it's pretty good. I mean, I did decent, I think, for what I knew and for what I was trying to do. I did a good job for the time being because I'm I'm not that good of a builder. It, I'm not. It's not my strong suit. I'm a YouTuber. It's what I do. Um, so we're going to see how it goes in the water, obviously. That just is what I do. Uh, oh yeah, I forgot to add little pedestal things. Okay, so it got stuck and it's extremely laggy. Um, <laughs> it's not that good. It's not a good thing. Anyways, I think that's going to be it. Uh, thank you for watching. I'll see you next video. I hope you enjoyed this little code video. It wasn't that long. It wasn't that good. Just something that you know if there is a new code out and to review a build. So yeah. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video. If you like this, please leave a like. If you want to see more, please subscribe. Tell your friends, family, other people. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.